One of the biggest challenges in trying to make a garment using a 3D printer is that 3D printers print rigid, hard plastic. That has resulted in a lot of fashion designers creating gorgeous, futuristic pieces that look amazing in a magazine, but if you were to wear them, it would feel like you're encased in a hard plastic cage. Which is, is not what we're thinking about. We're really thinking about how can you take today's technology and actually produce a wearable garment. This project actually started with an idea to create a bracelet that was made out of hinged components that could print flat and then fold into a three-dimensional configuration. And we thought it would be amazing to make something larger scale like a dress. If we take something large and three-dimensional and fold and flatten it using simulation to make it small enough to print in one piece. So the basic idea behind this dress is that we've created a large object uh, from a 3D scan of a person that is much larger than a 3D printer. And then we've used a physics simulation to fold up the dress into a small form that can fit inside the machine for fabrication. So the entire idea of this hinges on when we take it out of the machine, it can unfold into a dress. Part of the idea of this entire project is being able to make complex, large-scale things with no assembly required. The disadvantage of this is that we have one shot. It's one piece. If it works, it works, and if it doesn't, we're kind of screwed. What we're really interested in is this idea of smart materials and self-assembly. I guess we're, we're about to see if that works or not. <laughs> so we were experimenting with creating hinged textiles, which in a way are sort of like chain mail. They have a hardness to them. They're made of a hard material, but they're interlinked in such a way where they can move and flow, they can move when you breathe, they can move when you stretch, you can run in them, you can sit down in them, they're not a hard plastic cage around your body. It's a lot of uh, garments that have been printed in the past that were giant sculptures were printed in tiny itty bitty little pieces and then hand assembled, which is really doesn't even necessitate being 3D printed, that's how you would make a traditional garment or, or sculpture. What happens when we take techniques from computer graphics and mix them with techniques from artificial intelligence? How can we adapt simulations that biologists are using to understand how form and pattern emerge in nature? And at Nervous System, those are the sort of experiments that we've been doing. Um, and this dress is sort of our latest project of combining engineering and science techniques with uh, design and digital fabrication.